Hey there. Looks like it's time for another full moon. Um, welcome to my channel. This is Loud Creations and my name is Katie. Um, today's video is about the full moon in Scorpio that's coming up. There's also going to be a full lunar eclipse at the time of the full moon. So this one's going to be pretty intense. I am don't know about you guys, but I feel like the last couple of weeks have been pretty intense. Um, so it kind of makes sense with what we're leading up to, uh, which I will be getting into later in the video. This video will include a high level overview of what uh, the energy of the lunar eclipse means. Also, I'll be getting into the sign of Scorpio and what Scorpio is all about. And then I'm going to kind of mix the two plus the full moon uh, and talk about what I think uh, the energy of this full moon means for all of us. I also, um, part of what I do for this series is I do an abstract painting every new and full moon, um, which I also add to the videos so that um, there's something playing while I'm sharing the information that I've gathered over the period. Um, and also I do a live stream every full moon. So if you are interested in learning more about astrology or and, and are enjoying the content that I'm creating, please be sure to subscribe. There's a little watermark on one of these sides here. I still haven't figured out which one, <laughs> um, but down at the bottom, it says subscribe. And um, it would be great if you could uh, join me in my journey diving deeper into astrology. I hope this video is useful and I will see you next time. Thank you. So what's the deal with the full lunar eclipse anyway? The upcoming full moon in Scorpio will be accompanied by a full lunar eclipse. I think this would be a good time to discuss the energy that a lunar eclipse brings. A full lunar eclipse occurs when the sun, earth, and moon are in perfect alignment. Sitting perfectly between the sun and moon, the earth blocks the sun's light so that the moon has no light to reflect. When a lunar eclipse happens during a full moon, the intensity of that moon is multiplied tenfold. The full lunar eclipse also raises all of those memories and emotions that have been pushed down or repressed. The upcoming full moon in Scorpio is sure to be extra intense given the nature of the sign. That said, let's move on to the sign of Scorpio and what it's all about. Scorpio, the serpent and the eagle. This sign has always been an enigma to me and perhaps that is by design. Here is a general overview of Scorpio that might help reveal the mysteries of this dark and watery sign. Scorpio is the eighth sign of the zodiac, often represented by the scorpion. Also, Scorpio is often depicted as an eagle. The tarot card associated with Scorpio is the death card, number 13 of the major arcana. This is appropriate as Scorpio represents the cycles of life, birth, death, and regeneration. In general, Scorpio is an intense sign that expresses the highest and lowest vibrational aspects of humankind. It represents desire and, when balanced, idealism. It is also a symbol of death and deceit. In contrast, it is the sign for generating life. Thus, it is ruled by the reproductive organs. The written symbol for Scorpio looks like an M with a stinger on the right side. It is also an ancient symbol of the phoenix bird, which represents regeneration and immortality. The element of Scorpio is water, which represents emotions, intuition, and the subconscious. This signifies the foundation of Scorpio's traits. As a water sign, Scorpio resides in a world of powerful emotions. Scorpio is willing to explore the darkest depths that are generally avoided by others. As a fixed water sign, Scorpio is living in an intensely emotional world below the surface. Although it may not be apparent outwardly, there is an intensity to Scorpio that can be felt even when hidden under the watery depths. What you see is just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. The internal world of Scorpio is quite active. Because of this, Scorpios are able to channel their energy fully towards any path that they desire. This sign is quite shrewd when it comes to overcoming challenges as well. 
As one of the six feminine signs in astrology, Scorpio's energy is receptive and intuitive. It finds its power from within and is arguably the most psychic of all water signs. Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. Pluto is the Roman god of the underworld and the dead. It is the planet of destruction and transformation. Pluto brings that which is hidden in the subconscious into our consciousness. This planet has the power to release forces within that were previously inactive, which can create a forceful eruption of powerful energies. Pluto gives Scorpio its intensity and the ability to dive into the darkest depths to bring in the light. When out of balance, Scorpio can be envious, possessive, controlling, cold, and calculating, which is what makes Scorpio such a dangerous enemy. The positive side of this is that Scorpio reciprocates all acts of kindness, fights for its highest ideals, and has the ability to overcome the most challenging of obstacles through sheer focus and desire. So what should we expect for this full moon in Scorpio plus the full lunar eclipse? Well, this full moon is the culmination of the intention set during the new moon in Taurus. Remember, Taurus is the sign of abundance and earthly pleasures. In order to move towards completion, this full moon in Scorpio provides the opportunity to encounter and clear emotions and experiences that are buried deep within the subconscious. In doing so, the path to manifesting or achieving your goals and intentions is clear. This is a necessary part of any kind of personal or spiritual growth. The energy of the full lunar eclipse is going to be intense, no doubt about that especially paired with the zodiac sign of Scorpio, in order to move into a new elevated cycle, repressed emotions and negative thought patterns residing in the watery depths must come to the surface into our conscious awareness. This is a clearing, a release. It's not comfortable, but it's immensely powerful. It is best to be kind to yourself and others during this time. The energy and emotional intensity of this full moon is felt by all. Try to avoid toxic methods of coping with unpleasant memories, thoughts, and emotions. The attempt to drown out what is rising up will only cause more discomfort. Easier said than done, I know. The ultimate challenge during this cycle is to sit with the discomfort and intense feelings. Feel it all, look at it for what it is, and then let it go. The full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio provides us with a powerful opportunity to face our demons or monsters head on and to realize that they are not as scary or strong as we think. On a collective level and for the individual, we must harness Scorpio's ability to overcome challenges, whatever they may be, and adapt into a new way of being. Once we do this, the anchor will be lifted and we will launch ourselves towards our deepest dreams and desires. Thank you.